And then we'll go around, I'll check whatever needs to be checked, but everybody do not despair, it's okay. <sighs> okay, perfect. So we're gonna start a new profile, a new custom profile. Now, one thing I will remind you, if you're using portrait, meaning everything up and down, not side to side, everything needs to be portrait. Why? Because it gets confusing with presentations. It, it takes away the cadence that you built because people need to start thinking. Now, we go into pixels here. I actually like inches for, for paperwork. So we go, or you can go into print. Let, we already have a preset, which is 8.5 by 11, 300 PPI. There you go. We click it, we open it. That's ours, and then I'm just gonna save this into your co my computer um, and I'm just gonna put remember you have to put your name and the, on what you're doing so and remember this is custom profile is the only one that I want you to do homework on okay okay so there you go auto there you go so same thing guys we're gonna add images that we like for our customer profile. I'm thinking, because I'm a millennial, maybe she's a millennial too. Uh, millennial minimalist. Mm, I'm not liking where she's going right now. Oh, minimalist lifestyle. Nope. I don't like these images, that's okay. Maybe we go to old fashioned Pinterest again. That's okay. So we go into millennial, don't allow, millennial, oh, how about woman minimalist list home, 70s, why not? I can see this being her living room in my customer for my mood board. What do you guys think? Right? I can, the customer profile could be anything that she likes. It could be clothing, it could be brands, it could be what she does. Like, you have to have a vivid image of what she does. Meaning, day to day, does she go to the gym? Does she not go to the gym? Does she travel a lot? Maybe she does. What type of, what does she enjoy? And also try to keep the same color palette with your pictures. You notice that I, I, I'm, getting pic, I'm getting a picture that's similar. It will look more cohesive if you do that. Similar to To my color palette, look, ta -da, color palette, I mean mood page, they go together, they're friends. I don't know what else she do, does, let's see, how about clothing? Maybe this one she goes to a lot of, I want her to go to, hmm, maybe she's from Sweden, no. Let's go to a restaurant, let's go woman, how about minimalist aesthetic 70s? Is that because I'm doing 70s right now? That's what it is. I'm doing that again. And I'm just searching for 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 textures. This if I, I can put someone like this in my profile, she will not be a good integrate. You know this girl right here? No, she doesn't go with it. Mine's more minimalistic. She's more about luxury, drapey, so fabrics. She is not also another model that I cannot use. She's too young for me, for my custom profile. I need you to start thinking about that. Maybe, sometimes it helps if you have a very, uh, an image of a woman as well. Not bad, this will be good, but I'm not very, my, my aesthetic is not very bohemian. Correct? 
So there you go. So which one? Where? Where's she at? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's not bad, but I don't know. I don't like the hat. You know what? She's looking a little too Brooklyn. So then I say this because, mm, oh, she might like this, though. I think she will like this. I know she looks a little boring, but this is my customer. That's okay. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and that's okay. And maybe... And maybe that's okay. You see how I linked the picture so you guys can see it? You know you're linked it when you have the little rectangle here. This is not linked because there's no rectangle. When that happens, I cannot even eye drop that. Look, oh, actually I can drop this one. I don't know what happened to you guys, <laughs> but I can eye drop it. If you ever have an issue with eye dropping, it might be because of that. So how you make it into one image is you, you add another layer empty. You choose both by pressing shift and you command E to merge it. And look, the little square that is linked, gone. Okay, so this she is this one. You know what I thought right now? Maybe, there you go, done. Now, I'm gonna leave myself some space to write things about her, okay? So I think I need another image. It's up to you how many images you want, you can do very different ways to go about it. So maybe I want Rachel Walsh because I want to. Mm. Uh -oh. She was a very well-known uh, icon in the 70s. I think you know her from, from certain things. Ah, Gorge, Gorge Face. Hi. And I'm just gonna put it in my in my thing. Why not? Bye. And she's just gonna be here. And I feel like I'm missing like a little bit of a trip. Where is she going? Where is your customer going? Maybe. But where in Italy? Exactly. Where is she gonna wear the clothes in Italy that you're making? That's the thing, that's it, because Portofino all day, right? But is she really gonna wear that to Portofino? She's gonna wear somewhere else, in, and in what season is she gonna wear that? I need you to understand that part. For example, for me, I'm thinking, maybe she goes to Sahara Desert because it matches my color story, so whatever. <laughs> you know, huh? A little bit, but you know what? It gets cold in the Sahara Desert, by the way. So, or maybe Dubai. That's a good one. Dubai? Aesthetic. Why not? No, this is, will not be matching my, my girl. Uh, oh, this is pretty good. Let's see. Mm, Pinterest is not doing it for me right now. Oh, yes. She will go to this. 100%. Oh, yeah. In a coat with that hair all blown out, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she will pay extra money for making sure that someone knows not to, that her hair does not get in the wind, for sure, because she can. Okay, so there you go. So then, shwink. I like where this is going now, fine. Hello, maybe here. I might change Raquel Welch a little bit, but that's okay. For now, I might change the aesthetic for her. Just because she might be too, it's too much face. Maybe I want her to relax a little more. My eye is going too much into her, like I'm focusing too much on her face. And maybe I can make this smaller, and maybe I can even make this smaller too. And you just play with the layout right now, okay, guys? And then, there you go. Maybe she's not it. Oh. Maybe, I'm thinking right now, what else will she do? What luxury brands will, brands will she like? 
I think you like Brioni. I don't think you guys know what Brioni might be, but it's a very, um, it's Italian brand. Brioni models, black and white, big, no, not black and white pictures. Let's see what we can find. So then, mm, woman. I'm just looking for good pictures here. Maybe Pinterest will help us again. And why am I showing you pictures right now? Because guess what? We're going to edit a little bit. Okay. Brioni model, woman. I think mine was, might wear a 70 suit. Let's see. Uh, la, 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 la. She's not bad. Mm. So... Ah, no, that's a guy. Hold on a second. Sometimes I cannot see really well with my glasses because of this. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hi. <laughs> that's okay. Of course, it's JJ. <laughs> Maybe it's just I don't know. Maybe I'm getting too fixated by this, but what I want to show you is, oh, this is a good one. Mm, okay, you know what? I'm going to make my decision really quick. I think I'm just going to choose her. It's kind of 70s, very relaxed fit, but you notice it has water in it. You know what I'm going to do? What happens is the image is really perfect, and it does not go with your color story at all. This is when we make sure to click on the image, go to image, adjustments, black and white. Look at that. I made her black and white now. She's good. But then I'm like, you know what? I want it to be a warm black and white. I do command U. No, actually not command U. You can either go image, go to levels. There's different ways to manipulate color. This command, I'm going to show you right here. No, let me show you again. You see image adjustments? These are the many ways you can change color. Depending on the image, you're going to notice there are going to be shortcuts to go about it. Maybe it's hue saturation. Maybe it's vibrance. Maybe it's black and white. It is up to you because it depends what image you have. So, for example, I know if I were to go to color balance where, levels right here, I can go, you see, you notice I can make her darker Photoshop resolution, make that brighter. No, I need, to, I need this to look really moody, okay? Super moody. But I want it to look like a yellowish, sepia almost color. So how do I do that? You see right here on top of those little waves. By the way, this shows you where is the color balance. And it will make more sense to you. Because look, if I were to change this, I want to make the darkest more darker. You see, I'm able to control this section. You understand? This is the lightest section. This is the medium, sorry. And that's where I'm controlling. Understand? But then right here, where it says RGB, because I'm working in RGB, and that's what I mentioned. Don't work in CNYK because it gets a little annoying. I see R, red, green, and blue. I'm going to click on green. And then I'm going to switch to what I can do. Mm, green is not working. Sometimes you have to try it out. Maybe it's red. Because remember, if everything's RGB, everything's created by red, green, and black. So therefore, you can change it. Ah, oh, there you go. I think she, it goes much better with my, with my page now. And I'm, I'm still thinking, oh, but, but it's too red. But I like it, but it's too red. Let's go to image adjustments again and go hue saturation, which is command U, and 
right here, you see the whole color spectrum. I can change it to whatever I want now, all at once. This is the color that I want. And I think now she's looking rich. She's looking, she does go to Dubai on the regular. And you know what? I don't need to see that coat all the time. Let's just see a little bit of it. And I think it's too bright now. Let's do Command Q again, which is hue saturation. Command U, which is hue saturation. You see the saturation right here? You need to learn these terms. Saturation means how bright is it, how much red there is. Yeah, the intensity is the brightness of all colors. Saturation is on the red side because it's digital. So look how what happens. I just take it down. I'm not changing the color. I'm just changing the saturation. Look at the difference. She's looking more like they all belong together. And I guess what? I only have four pages. I only have four images. That's the only thing. Only four images. And right now, I'm already telling a story. OK, so the other thing I wanted to discuss with you was Alignments. I know I showed you last week, but look, I want these two images to align exactly at this edge. You click on one image, and then press, while pressing shift, you click on the next image. You notice how my two layers are selected now. As soon as you select two images, look at my top bar. You see these? I know you're familiar with aligning with PowerPoint, and Excel is the same thing. And it shows you align to the left. Yeah, I want to align to the left because I want this image, I want this image on top to align with the bottom image. So that works for me today. And I align, done. Maybe, you know what, I'm gonna skew it a little bit because I need to fill in some space. <laughs> no one's gonna know. They're skinny, it's fine. Same thing with here. I'm just gonna fill in some space. No one's gonna know. No one's gonna know how skewed that is. No one's gonna know. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna leave you. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you here. We're gonna break for 15 minutes, okay?